Welcome to the Dad and Cole Football Patrol. That's right. What's up, guys? I am Dad. And I am Cole. Cole, can you feel it? We are in the month of July, and that means one thing. Football's coming back, bro. You fired up? So with July, that means the return of NFL training camps, and there are some big questions that are hanging out there around the NFL, and you and I are going to tackle five of the biggest questions heading into this season right now. So let's get into it, man. Question number one, who will go worst to first? Yeah, so Cole, typically every season offers a chance of a team that was real stinkerooskies last season jumping all the way up to first place and doing real well the next season. Our beloved Philadelphia Eagles did that a few years back. They went from worst all the way to Super Bowl chance. So who do you got from the best candidate to go from last place into first place in their division this season? The Oakland Raiders. Oh, so give me your reason why the Oakland Raiders can go worst to first. Um, because of Antonio Brown and they have Derek Carr and they have John Gruden coming back from um, a tough season last year. Yeah, I think you're pointing out some great things. Gruden is probably really fired up to prove the doubters wrong after a sluggish season last season. They've had a big offseason. New GM, Mike Mayock at the helm. I like Defense. your pick. This. And then also, yes, yeah, some solid guys. Well, Defense, they're going to need, they, they addressed in the draft, and it's going to need to be much improved, especially after losing Mac yeah. in that trade. Yeah. But this is a big offseason for them and, and heading into the big season, so I like your pick. Who is yours worst to first pick? I like Bruce Arians and the NFC South and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I think there's some solid talent there. I gripe about Winston a lot, and I know I give Winston a tough time, but I think under the steady tutelage, of Bruce Arians, I think Winston could have one of his best seasons in the NFL. And I think that division is kind of a little bit of a toss-up. I know it's a tough division. I know it's competitive. But I think they could be a good candidate to go worse to first. That's the toughest division in the whole league. <laughs> it's, it's arguably one of them, no doubt about it. Question number two. Can Patrick Mahomes repeat his performance from the 2018 season? Yeah, so I'm going to say no, but there's a little bit of an asterisk. Yeah. He can still be brilliant. But I think there's a track record for quarterbacks in the NFL struggling the second season that they start a full season. Defenses have an entire offseason to look at their film look at what their tendencies are, and might catch up with them a little bit. And that doesn't mean that I don't think Mahomes can be an incredible, brilliant MVP caliber. Like 50s, a, a lot of touchdowns. Yes. But he might even do 30, and that's still a big number. Well, I agree. Right, so I ask you, what are your thoughts? Is he going to repeat what he did last season? In the middle. Okay, so you don't think it's going to be all the way to what he did, yeah. but you still think, like me, he can have a great season, mm -hmm. still potentially lead yeah. the Chiefs back to the playoffs. Here's the other thing I'm concerned about him. He's had some losses. Tyree Kill, Kareem Hunt, there's some situations on that team they've been dealing with. So the talent might he not still be... still has Kelsey. Well, he does. He's one of the, arguably one of the best tight ends in the game. But they have dropped down a little bit on the talent. Level, so I'll be curious, but I think you and I are on the same page. I think Mahomes may regress a little bit, but still can have a heck of a season. Yeah. Which New York running back will have the better season, Barkley or Bell? Oh, the battle of the New York backs. Le'Veon finally getting back on the field and back into action with the New York Jets versus Saquon Barkley and the New York football giants. I'm going to go with the fresher legs, the younger guy, even though I don't know that the talent and the team is there to give him the opportunities like Bell may get in New York. But I'm just going to go with Saquon. The guy is a brilliant talent, and I think that will win out in the end as far as a head-to-head -head running back comparison. Your thoughts? I like Lazy on Bell. Oh, and now why are you liking Bell? Um, because he had more experience and... Barkley um, just had a tough time, like he might have a tough time in the second year because maybe he won't have like such a good year because um, in college they only play 12 games yeah. and, he'll, and he'll only be used to 12 when 
when um, they actually play 16. Like the whole rookie wall factor. Yeah, now like he, Calvin Ridley. Now, now, he might have gotten used to the whole NFL season from last year, so that might not be such a factor. But I'm with you. He may struggle a little bit, which is the team may not be as good as they yeah. were. Well, not that they were even good last year, the Giants. Mm. But they might even struggle even more this year. They may be a, a rookie quarterback taking over at some point for Eli. So I, I, I'm with you on that, that I think Bell's going to have the better opportunities. I'm still going to give the slight edge to Saquon, but you might be right on this one going with Bell. Dad, who will have the better wide receiver season, Antonio Brown or Juju Smith-Schuster? Oh, the battle of the former teammates. <laughs> Brown no longer with the Steelers out in Oakland under John Gruden's tutelage. I'm going to let you start this one first. What do you think? I think Antonio Brown's going to have a better year. And then tell me why. Um, because he has Derek Carr around him and Ben Roethlisberger is getting older. He is. So um, Ben might not have a good as good as a season as Derek, because Derek are still younger. Yeah, no, those are great points. And last year, I was kind of calling for the demise of the Steelers, but they really mm -hmm. kind of showed me wrong, almost making it into the playoffs at the end there. I'm with you, though. I think people are sleeping on Antonio Brown a little bit, maybe even being a little bit disrespectful with the whole, well, the Steelers, it's addition by subtraction. They're going to be better because Brown and his diva-like ways are out of the locker room. I think people forget just how dynamic of a player yeah. Antonio Brown is. He's a brilliant guy. And for Juju Smith-Schuster, it may not be so easy becoming the number one guy. He may be more uh, uh, equipped to play the Robin role to the Batman, being like the number two guy with not so much pressure on him. All the pressure is on but him right now. They still have that James um, Washington guy that they drafted. Well, and they got Connor in the running game. So mm -hmm. there's still some guys there, the Steelers, that can help take the pressure off. But when it comes to, to wide receivers, the pressure is entirely on Juju Smith-Schuster. And I think Antonio Brown lives for the big stage like that. So I'm with you. I'm going to hedge towards Antonio Brown. But um, Ben is getting older, so Juju's also going to have a tough time because Ben just might run the ball a lot with James because with he's getting older and his arm's getting more sore. Well, listen, you make a great point. We know that the Steelers want to ground and pound, so maybe they're going to even get back to that form even mm -hmm. more so and rely even more on the running game. I think you make a great point there, and that further underscores why we both think Brown's probably going to have a more explosive year. So, Cole, our fifth and final big question heading into the preseason of the 2019 NFL season. Can the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams, shake off the curse of the Super Bowl loser? And what I mean by that is typically the team that was in the Super Bowl the previous year and lost that game struggles mightily the year after, hardly ever making it into the playoffs. What do you think? Are the Rams going to kind of get caught up in that trap and be El Stinkaruskos? Or are they going to shake that off, fight off the curse, and come back and get themselves back into the playoffs? What say you? Um, I think they're going to go back into the playoffs. Ooh, we're going to disagree on this. I like it. Go ahead. Tell me um, why. Um, because they have Jared Goff and he um, has Robert Woods and they really um, – and Jared Goff goes to him a lot. They were explosive last year. I'm with you on that. Let me ask you this, though. What about the centerpiece of that offense? Do you worry at all about Todd Gurley? Remember at the end of last season, it was kind of odd. They picked up C.J. Anderson. Gurley was clearly yeah. hurt. But then when we thought he was getting healthy again, they still were predominantly running the ball with Anderson. It was a bizarre mm -hmm. end of the season. Do you have any worries about Gurley's health heading into this year? It's kind of like Melvin Gordon last year, where like he was running the ball and he got hurt, and then they put him back in, and then they just keep running the ball with Austin Eckler. Yeah, well, right, so Gordon being the, the bell cow, so yeah. to speak, and that's what Gurley is for the Rams. Yeah. They get heavy workloads. I know they want to try and manage that heading into this year, not giving him as many carries. I right, Listen, I'll give you my, my thought here. I think the Rams are going to live up to the curse, unfortunately, or maybe I should say live down to it. 
I think they're going to struggle. You mentioned Goff is a, a benefit, is a plus. I worry about him. I thought he got exposed big time in that Super Bowl. Now, look, Belichick exposes a lot of good players in the NFL, so maybe I shouldn't get so down on him just for one game. But I've always questioned Goff. I'm not sold on him. And I just think that there's a lot of kind of veteran guys thrown in there, almost like assembling a, a dream team, all-star kind of team, especially on the defensive side of the ball, like in Dominican Sue, who's not yeah. even there, Akeem Tlaib. Like a lot mm-hmm. of guys got thrown into the mix. So I don't know. I worry about the cohesiveness of that team. I do think McVay's a great coach, but I think they're going to struggle, and I think that division's starting to get a little bit better around them. And it's just the emotion of losing a Super Bowl and having to get up again for the following season. I think there's something real to that. So I think you and I are on opposite sides of this one. But it's going to be so fun to watch it play out during the year. And they might be in the middle where, like, they go to, like, the wild card or something. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. There's always a chance of that. Perhaps they don't win the division, but they sneak into the wild card. It's going to be great to watch it unfold. Hey guys, who do you think will go worse to first from last year to this year? Yeah guys, you heard our picks. Cole went with the Raiders. I went with the Tampa Bay Bucks. Leave a comment. Let us know the team that you think has the best chance of going from worst place to first place within their division. And then what else, dude? Um, subscribe. Yeah, guys, we'd love it if you could hit the red subscribe button on our YouTube channel. We're starting to get rolling in preseason, offseason mode. We love it. Football's finally back, so if you hit subscribe, you can stay up to date with all the episodes that we're going to be looking to do throughout the 2019 NFL season. Anything else from you, man? Leave a comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Hey, do you have any questions that you think are bigger than the ones that we didn't address here? What do you think is one of the biggest questions heading into this preseason that we didn't even talk about? Leave a comment with that as well. That's all I got, bubs. How about you? Bye-bye. See you guys. Take care.